What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit. This is your host, Zach, and today's subreddit is r slash I don't work your lady. This story's called, I don't work here, chief. Yeah, this is super long. As a sailor, just having a uniform puts you in an awkward spot whenever someone above you gives you an order to do something that isn't really your job, but then becomes your job because we have to obey lawful orders. Because then everything becomes your job when you have a schlong swinging douche constantly making you do things for him, generally speaking. But I usually do what I'm told with a grain of salt like I'm supposed to and avoid stirring up trouble. Higher enlisted and officers can give orders to really anyone below them, but are supposed to be mindful of the chain of command of the individual. Some people disregard that and abuse their rank, as I found out. This happened back when I was an E4. A couple of years after I got to my first ship, I found out that one of my A school friends was stationed on the ship next to mine. So I went to let him guide me in touring his ship one day, as we both got off a little early that day. As I passed through control, a senior chief, E8, asked me what the frick we think we're doing. I had no idea what the context he was going off of, so I said, oh, uh, hey senior, just touring the ship. Shipmate. I hate this freaking word. I don't care if you're new. It's duty section cleanup. No, oh, <laughs> no, no. I'm not part of the duty section. I'm not even part of this. Let me stop you right there. It would behoove you. I hate this freaking phrase. Do not sass back a chief. My heart sank because it was then that I knew what type of person this was. A man child. He's not part of the ship. I'm not on duty either. I'm giving him a tour. I don't believe you. Who are your chiefs? Let them tell me that. Who actually towards other ships in their free time? To be fair, that was a good question. I should have just went home like everyone else. I told Senior Chief my Division Chief's number, and he saw my ship's emblem on my phone card. You're good at skating, aren't you? You even have another ship's phone card. Jesus Christ, this freaking dude. Come with me to my office. You too. Pointing at my friend, friend whispered to me on the way, I'm so sorry. This guy is a freaking booty hole. He calls my chief. My chief thankfully picks up. My chief is a good chief and verified that I am me, that I was from another ship, and that I was released for the day. Checks out. You're gonna participate in duty section cleanup before you go since you tracked dirt onto the ship. You can't be serious. He scolded us again for sassing him. I was gonna sneak off, but this freaking senior chief stood behind me with a flashlight watching every movement of my hand and sponge. I only cleaned for about 20 minutes, friend did too, even though he wasn't part of the duty section, as the 1MC, announcing circuit, secured duty section cleanup. Senior went back to controlling angrily shouting and throwing a tantrum for what I have no idea. We didn't give him another chance to talk to us. We knew he was gonna come for us. We freaking took our chance and bailed. How freaking dense can a person be? I know good chiefs and some bad ones. This senior chief was by far the worst chief I have ever known. I asked my chief if people outside my chain of command can just order me to clean, and he explained, Technically, yes, but that is ridiculously freaking stupid. My chief was outraged that he took advantage of me for no reason and told our department chief what happened. Our department chief supposedly got a hold of this senior chief, who was also a department chief, and called him out for being a booty hole. I never toured other ships again and became less of a diggit over time. My friend and I still play via video games together. We lived happily ever after. Oh wow. Yeah, I can really see that getting super annoying. Like this guy you've never met before, you know, has nothing to do with you, can just order you around like it's nothing. Ah, oh gosh, it's killing me just thinking about it. Let me know in the comments below any interesting stories like this, you know, where um, maybe a higher up was just being a, a big ol' schlong to you. This story's called, Maybe I am that, but I still don't work here. And by that, I mean I'm a booty hole. Some background. I look very much like your stereotypical Ozarker hillbilly redneck. Yes, this includes overly long facial hair, a goatee in my case, overweight, and a lip full of jaw, a dip or chew, in my specific case, a mitten base, nicotine free alternative, that is helping me transition away from that disgusting habit. I have almost zero tolerance for stupidity, and due to my lower back being basically destroyed from a mixture of physical labor, sports, a car accident 15 years ago, and my considerable fatness now, 
and I'm recovering from having a couple of pulmonary embolisms, uh, blood clots and lungs. So I am not in fighting shape at all, which means I really don't like people touching me, especially when they are being aggressive. To the characters, me, Sue, because that is what she's screaming by the end, dumbstruck manager, sweet young lady but in over her head. The story, happened yesterday, but I was just too tired when it was all said and done to write it out. Also on mobile, so I am doing my best with the formatting, grammar, and spelling. But please understand if I botch it. On my way home from work, I decided to stop at a local supermarket. The employees here wear black or khaki pants, a red or black polo with the name of the store embroidered onto the polo, or wear white dress shirts. Management. I am wearing dark blue bib overalls, a navy blue sweatshirt, a black ball cap, and tan combat boots. I have my cart and I stop on the drink aisle, and I am comparing some different pre-made teas, part of trying to be healthier. Sadly, sweet tea is no longer an option for me. And it was in the middle of me coming to that understanding in my life that I hear the notorious throat clear and the words, excuse me? I glance over to see a middle-aged woman, well-dressed, and only because it becomes important later, she's African-American. I pull myself against one side of the aisle and mutter, sorry? She clears her throat again and I look at her and start to move back across the aisle. Speaking up a little bit, my fault on that, should have asked where you were going. Sue, in a snarky, condescending tone, says, Yes, you should have. Now, why don't you stop staring at those bottles and help me? <laughs> Ma'am, I can barely help myself. What? I'm going to get your manager. I stop laughing. Look, piss off, lady. I don't work here. She points a finger millimeters from my face. You listen here, booty hole. I'm a customer. You can't talk to me like that. I'm putting both bottles of tea back on the shelf and turning to leave. Yeah, I may be a butthole, but I still don't work here, lady. As I go to walk away, Sue grabs my shoulder and pulls me around. Out of instinct, I wheel around, pushing Sue's arm away from me and forcefully shoving her back. This sends Sue into her cart, which she catches herself on, before she regains her footing. Why didn't I leave, you ask? Well, I was taught to never turn your back on an angry opponent. So she comes marching up to me and nabs her finger into my chest, hard and screams you racist illegitimate child how dare you shove me i'm done freaking completely over it and remember me mentioning i don't do well with stupid so i let her have it i spent my youth in various jobs that teach you how to yell from the diaphragm commonly known as the drill instructor's yell so i go full volume spittle flying in her face ballistic I raged something along the lines of, uh, most of it was picked up on the security system's audio. And guys, in case that wasn't enough warning, here it is, I'm yelling. Racist! You freaking crude name for female reproductive part! You physically assaulted me because the gap between the brain cells you possess were too far apart for you to process that! I do not work! Here! I highly suggest that you pull your head out of your butt before someone packs your crap in and suffocates you! Alright, there goes my throat and my pop filter is now covered in spit. Clearly having enough of a complete butthole screaming a mere inch from her face, she slaps me. So, one good slap deserves another, and I backhanded her hard enough that it sounded like a stick breaking. Sue spots Dumbstruck Manager and starts screeching that she is going to sue the store if I'm not immediately fired for assaulting her and calling her racist things. Dumbstruck Manager stands there for a moment before just walking off. In hindsight, obviously to call the police. Where are you going? Get back here and fire this man! You stupid freaking crude name for a female reproductive part. She can't fire me. But sure, keep asking people to do the impossible. Should have just kept my mouth shut. She charged me with her purse, which, in my attempt to block, caused it to wrap around my arm, and the act of pulling my arm free sent her purse flying. It is at this point she managed to scratch me. Bad enough that my blood that's thinned out from the blood thinners I take dripped dramatically from it. I had not noticed the blood, but her lunge at me to scratch me triggered my punch reflex, and I connected a heavy right hook more out of happenstance than any real ability to fight, but it completely took the wind out of her sails. A few minutes later, the cops arrived. 
Of course, given the optics, they put me in cuffs. The dumbstruck manager looks very distraught and unsure what to say or do next, which is when I mention watching the security tapes. So the seven of us, dumbstruck manager, Sue, me, three officers, and the store security guy crowd into the office. We watch the whole six minutes live, at which point the EMTs have arrived and are tending to my non-serious but very bloody injuries. As the cops finish the tape, they come over and uncuff me. I thank the cops, one of which I had dealt with before, who were about to tell us to both just leave, stay away from each other, and on the way out. This was mutual combat. Well, the simple act of uncuffing me sends Sue into hysterics, pulling at the cops telling them to arrest me. The first officer calmly said, Please, ma'am, calm down. Next thing I know is the call out, Taser, taser, taser! And yup, she got tased. After all that, I had to explain that I understood my physical reaction may have seemed a little over the top, but being on blood thinners, any physical attack against me poses a greater danger. I was informed that in that case, the cops were going to try for aggravated assault instead of simple assault, if I wanted to press charges. Bet your booty I press charges! And while I was being loaded into the ambulance to be taken to the hospital and to be checked for internal bleeding, Sue was screaming about suing everyone and anyone as she was loaded into the police vehicle. I'm sure she'll love the fact that I have already contacted my lawyer for a civil suit, can't go out and treating people unequal now, so I'll be suing for damages and PNS. Wow. Um, that story went to a place I didn't expect it to go. <laughs> um... Wow! This story's called, Why You Should Never Grab Somebody From Behind. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. I met my friend, Harry, at a job I had a few years ago, and we became pretty close. Even after he accepted a job at a pub, we still hung out frequently. Yesterday, Harry interviewed for a manager position at another restaurant and got the job. Right afterwards, he called me and asked me if I wanted to go out and celebrate. I agreed, and we met up at the pub where he worked. As it was a Tuesday, it wasn't packed and Harry, who was still dressed in a nice polo and khakis for his interview, greeted the regulars he knew and the staff. Many congrats were passed around and more than one round of drinks bought for Harry and me. Harry and I were at the bar and decided to stand as he doesn't like high top chairs. We were so deep into our conversation that we didn't hear the, excuse me, hurled in our direction. Then we heard the all familiar cleared throat. Harry and I both turned to look and see this man looking at us with a frown so deep you could probably fill the Mississippi River. I'm sorry, are we being too loud? I asked. No, but I would like a refill, he said, glaring at Harry. Manager shouldn't be standing around talking to other patrons. We realized what was going on. Harry, still in a good mood, said, I'm sorry, but today's my day off. I'll ask Jake to take care of you and your party. Harry turned around and made eye contact with the bartender, who nodded and made his way over. This wasn't good for the man, and he grabbed Harry's shoulder and tried to spin him around. Big mistake. Harry is a Marine. Granted, he hasn't been active duty for a while, but he still works out. When we started working together, he asked me to not sneak up on him and to not grab him suddenly. To this day, I make sure to say his name if I'm behind him so he knows I'm there. Next thing I know, the guy has his hands on his mouth and Harry's hand formed into a fist, his face grim. Jake and the manager ran over and asked what happened. Harry and I told them what had happened and I was scared Harry was going to be in big trouble. The guy, who probably had a loose tooth or two, decided that he wanted to get into more trouble and said, They were harassing me. All I wanted was another drink, but they told me to F off and he punched me. Harry just pointed upwards where a camera was pointing and looked at the manager. Hey, Leo, are the cameras running? Yep, uh, want us to look over the footage? Leo asked. At this, the guy realized that now would be a good time to leave so he wouldn't get into trouble and did the walk of shame out of the bar. Harry apologized to Leo and Leo just put his hand on Harry's shoulder. It's okay, Harry. Hopefully he'll learn why it's a dumb idea to grab a stranger's shoulder. Okay, thank goodness that the, uh, Harry, he didn't get into trouble because that would have been really stupid. And besides, grabbing someone is assault, I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe not. Correct me down below or confirm that I'm right and boost my ego. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.